Hi everyone, welcome to The Early On. We offer programs for children and their families from ages 0 to 6 in Brantford and Brant County. I'm Danielle, and today I'm going to demonstrate a few fun literacy activities that you can practice at home with your child in order for them to prepare for kindergarten. These activities are easy to make, and most of you will have all the supplies you will need at home already. If you don't have them at home, you can easily pick them up at the dollar store. Um, you'll need some black construction paper, a large Ziploc bag, a black Sharpie, and some large popsicle sticks. If you don't have a large Ziploc bag um, or the large popsicle sticks, you can always just use the regular popsicle sticks and a regular Ziploc bag. So first we're going to label our Ziploc bag with the letters of the alphabet. And you'll want to spread them all around the page, not in alphabetical order, so that it ends up looking like this. Then you'll want to cut out your construction paper so that it fits inside the freezer bag. Once it fits inside the freezer bag, you'll want to label your popsicle sticks. So as you can see, I've already pre-labeled them. Um, so what you'll do is you'll call out a letter. For example, say letter F and then you'll have your child take the popsicle stick and search for the letter F under the bag. Um, you can also do I spy and say I spy with my little I the letter G. So you find the letter G and then we're going to match it. So another fun activity that you can make at home to practice your letters is if you take a piece of paper, it doesn't matter what color, um, you can fold it in half and then fold it in half again and then you can write out the letters of the alphabet probably best to do uppercase and lowercase Then you can cut out the paper so that your letters become little squares. So once you have all the letters cut out, you can place them in front of you and your child and take turns picking up the different letters in the alphabet to begin to identify what that letter is. So you can say what the letter is, you can practice the sound of the letter, and you can match a word that begins with that letter. If you want to get a bit more creative and make it more fun, you can cut the letters into circles, place them down on the table, and take a spatula from the kitchen and pretend you're flipping pancakes. And as you flip your pancake, you can practice identifying the letter, identifying the sound of it, and matching a word to it. This is a fun activity for your child to be hands-on while learning the, the alphabet, um, using materials that simply are just around the house. I hope you enjoyed this activity today.